10. Tonight, we are continuing coverage on the Caddo School Board Superintendent's election process. Now, after last night's heated meeting, many people are now wondering, is the board planning on calling a special meeting to interview two additional candidates? Well, KSLA's Jasmine Franklin spoke with board members on both sides of the controversy. So of the 12 board members, eight board members voted Keith Burton as their first choice for a candidate, and many others voted as a second choice candidate. Board member Don Little shares more insight in the superintendent selection process. The optics aren't good. It looks like this was uh, a pre-selected candidate. It looks like this was done in the dark, and it looks like it's being foisted on the people. But um, it was an objective process. It, we did use an external organization. Keith Burton currently serves as Chief Academic Officer for Caddo Parish Schools. Burton is the lone finalist for superintendent. He received the highest score out of six semifinalists. Board member Christine Tharp made a motion to only interview the candidate with the highest score. The motion passed seven to five. I didn't make the motion. I didn't know about the motion in advance. Uh, it came very quickly. But um, it made sense to me because I would hate to bring another candidate to our community for something that seems to be already settled. And when you look at Keith Burton's packet, uh, he had 13 letters of recommendation uh, that speak to his commitment to this community from people like Dr. Gorey. Uh, Roy Griggs. The board's decision to only interview one candidate in the final round sparked controversy. And I think the uh, most important part or takeaway from today was the process, definitely not the person. During the board meeting Tuesday evening, Terrence Vincent requested the board consider interviewing all three top scoring candidates, including Keith Burton. Because it is important that we, we show and exude the integrity of a board and again, it's very important because taxpayers are, are keenly aware that we spent $70,000 for a search firm. Vincent says if the executive committee approves his request, a special meeting would be called to interview all three top scoring candidates. However, board member Don Little says he believes this is very unlikely. If I, if I was forced to bet on this one, I would say a special meeting does not happen because that opportunity was last night. And uh, I believe that window passed. Uh, the, the ask for the meeting was done technically out of order because we had already uh, proceeded through the agenda and we were in the board uh, member announcements. Uh, the three executives that could have made the decision uh, did not. And I, I think that ship has sailed. Uh, it's in the executive committee's hand, the board president, Ms. Jessica Yates. Um, I think they'll come together and maybe have some discussions and we're hoping for a special call meeting whereby we can uh, infuse uh, the other two top candidates because, again, it is um, important that we um, spend the taxpayers' dollars, dollars the most um, appropriate way. And, and, again, choosing the next superintendent is so very vital. In Shreveport, Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12. Now, as of now, Keith Burton will be the lone finalist interviewed on September 11th, and Burton's interview will begin at 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday, September 11th.